insulator material. Here's a, a nice long piece of PVC I picked up recently. I've been using this. It's smooth, which is nice. Anyway, normally I would set up my table saw and just start cutting out insulators because we want an insulator. This is a little over one inch by, these are three inches wide and uh, one inch is high. And this is three quarters of an inch thick. And that's what I'm trying to make here. So I'll set this piece aside. I'm going to use this piece, which I marked off already. And uh, it's three inches, and I'll show you how to put this together. Now, <coughs> you can use a regular saw for cutting PVC. I This is a coping saw. I've used this when I was in it, doing irrigation work. And uh, they work really well uh, in PVC. You just have to take your time. So I'm going to I'm going to cut this. I'll be right back. All right, I cut it and uh I cut it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make my marks. First of all, I'm going to come in from the outsides and I'm going to make a mark at 3/8 of an inch. And that's going there. Uh, now just for grins, I'm going to measure this. This is an inch and a half. So an inch and a half. I set my little square here. Make a mark. That's just your center point. Okay, and then we're going to make a, a line through the center here. Because we're going to find the center. And uh, since this is three... Inch and a half will do, and that's the very center. So you just have a series of marks. The center for the attachment to the uh, backbone, and then the outsides where the screws, the mounting screws go for the elements. Okay, next, take my handy, my handy awl and uh, get that on the center of that mark. Like I've said before, you can use a nail and just tap it lightly. You just want to have a place to start your start your screw. Uh, there we go. Very simple. Just a place to start a screw. Now on the center piece, we're going to drill. Be right back. Now these outside points, don't drill those at all. You just made a little indentation, a mark to start a screw. When you uh, put your screw in here for your element, you want as much meat there as you can get. For the center, I took a 764th drill bit. And I'm going to drill this all the way through. Doesn't take much. And uh, that's just a hole all the way through. It's, it's smaller than what my screw will be. And that makes sure I have plenty of meat to grab. Okay. The next step is I want to drill out just about a quarter of an inch so I can countersink my center screw. That gets that head out of the way so we don't have, we're not shorting out our electromagnetism here. I, I explained that better in another video. Anyway. I'm going to drill this. Now, I've chosen a, a bit. I forget what size it is, but it's the same size as my, it's a, actually just a hair bigger than my 
uh, my screw heads. So that will fit down there. You just drill that. Now there are collars and things you can put on the drill bit that stop you from drilling too deep. I'm brave. See, I just went very, it's very shallow. It's hard to see here. It's just enough to get that screw head down below the surface so it can't short to the uh, active elements. Okay, that's, a, that's an insulator. The next thing we would do is take your washers and your hardware and mount it. And you can see how that, this is not set all the way. But when I screw that down, it does a nice job of getting below. It holds it on. And uh, that's your insulator. You need, for a bow tie, you need five of these. So, <laughs> this is how you make them. How you do it is up to you.